you today about how I finished my novel, how I ended the novel. Not the not going to tell you the plot, actually, not going to do that, but I'm going to talk to you about how I struggled to finish the novel, to bring the novel to, um, to, to the end. As I mentioned previously, I've been thinking about writing a novel for 25 years. When I started writing this novel, I knew exactly what the novel was going to be. I knew the characters, I knew where it was going to happen, uh, the setting, I knew the conflicts, I knew the resolution to the conflicts, and I knew how the novel would end. I knew exactly. So I began writing, 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 writing. Well, I'm getting toward the end of the novel, and I couldn't end it like I wanted that I had planned. Planned A, I couldn't end it. Because in the process of writing, the creative process resulted in the characters New characters coming in. New characters came in. Great characters. And Paula, the protagonist, took on a life of her own and I just followed that creative process. And so, the novel went in a slightly different direction. But more importantly, I think a better way in which to explain it is that there were more little nuances of scenes that helped with the character development, not only for Paula, but for the people that she met, the people that she got involved in. And so when it came to the, my plan on ending, I couldn't end it. It was too difficult because I wanted it to end a certain way and I couldn't do it because I had too many plot strands that, I know, it was too complicated. I struggled for weeks until finally I thought, hello, Diane, duh, 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 Diane, if you can't finish it the way you thought you were going to finish it, don't finish it that way. You can give it up. You can give up a goal. So I gave it up. I was free. And I did what I always did when I, I, I did what I always did when I was in college. This just happened. I didn't plan it. This just occurred. To digress for a moment, when I was in college, and I was an English major, and I had to finish papers, you know, writing about fiction. Oh, I mean, writing about literature was the most difficult writing you can do, I think. But I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to tie everything up and bring it all together. And I would go to sleep and dream about it, honestly. And I wake up in the morning and I go, I know how to finish, and I dreamed how to finish this paper. True. Fast forward to my working on finish the, finishing the ending for Just a Girl. Without my planning, the same thing happened. I went to sleep one night and obviously the whole thing was in my conscious and some subconscious, subconscious. And I woke up in the morning and I realized I had finished the novel in my head. I pulled all of those extraneous plot lines that I hadn't planned on but had occurred because of the creative process. I pulled all those extraneous plot lines together in my sleep, in my dream, to this wonderful ending and I could not type fast enough on my little HP laptop. I couldn't type it fast enough. That was so fun. So what did I learn about ending? I learned about allowing the creative process to occur within reason. You have to have a little bit of discipline because it could go forever. But allowing the creative process to occur and not be so caught up in my, old, my own goals and how I wanted things to occur how I wanted this novel to end. So I was really lucky. Do you dream about your writing? Do you write and then dream about your writing and come up with these great ideas? I hope so. Unless you think I'm weird. Maybe I'm weird. Ah, oh, I like being weird. I think I'm unique more than weird. So thank you so much. I'll see you on the next video.